I have, just like seemingly everyone else on the planet, been looking forward to this game coming out for so long. But now that it's finally here, I have to kind of face up to some hard truths. The first game scared the dickens out of me down in the caves in the darkness crawling around. Am I really ready to face up to that again? Uh, maybe? Kind of? A little bit iffy? Am I ready to go base building again? Absolutely. Am I ready to have my heart torn out by this game again? Uh... G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle and welcome finally to Sons of the Forest. It has just come out into early access and I'm all sorts of fizzy about it. And if I wasn't fizzy about it already, the dope ass 80s soundtrack in the menu is getting my blood pumping to every tip of every one of my digits. I am keen. I'm so keen. I'm not going to hang about, not going to think, don't think, just do brand new game on normal please because i'm definitely not that brave tap e to take items hold e to use gotcha give me all the tips you can because i need my hand held every step of the way I've been sitting in this chopper, just looking around, looking at the terrain and stuff like that. Didn't even realize I was actually supposed to be doing something. So I'm looking for Edward Puffton, explains the Puff Corp choppers I'm currently floating about on. Looking very bloody thick, very bloody puffy. Eye color gray, Moak is knackers, Puff Corp CEO. Also Barb, Virginia, and that's it. All right, fair enough. Eddie, Barbie, and Virgie, gotcha. No whackers, where are we going? <laughs> it's good to know we've got some good connection though, but our contact points are gone. Uh, e? We fine? Can we land now? I thought it was just the longest cinematic in the world. Got very distracted. Old mate Kelvin over a right was having a good old fucking bop to whatever he was listening to. Oh. Never mind. Game on. We're going in. Fish eye, Kelvy, hold my hand. Then just hold me. I don't want to die alone. Give me a cuddle. Time to go, time to go, time to leave. The chopper's crashed and everyone's dead. <laughs> just just the way it goes sometimes. Poor old mate Kelvin got crushed by the chopper like he's your Italian friend on the Titanic. Come on, let's go, let's go. We're out, we're good. We're gonna do what Kelvin couldn't do and swim around the chopper, not just directly up into it and scream at the glass. Are we going up? I don't ever know, I don't ever know. It's like the start of Stranded Deep, or any other survival game, really. A mysterious aircraft has crashed, and now we have to survive. This would be a better way to insert people... Oh, God. Insert people into the game. Ow! You rude muppet! All right. Cut, chill. Cut, relax. It's fine. We're all good. We're less all good. Just a nice casual concussion to progress the story. It's fine. Severe brain tra traumatic brain injury. We're all good. Don't worry about it. Holy shit, is old mate alive? Oh my, okay, my game's a little janky. I'll fix that in a second, but hold on a second. Old mate, old mate, you're good. I thought, I thought you got crushed. I thought I saw you get swept into the deep, but nah, you're all, oh, there's. All right, you, you know what? You may want to go back to the deep. I feel like the evil witch out of the Little Mermaid has taken whatever you had. 
took a little, took uh, uh, Ariel's voice, took Kelvin's. I don't even know what everything by the looks of things. Am I gonna have to sh shove this up his nose or something? Come on, bud. There you go. Hey, hi. How you doing? Follow me. Take item. Clear. Uh, all right. Are you actually back with it? Because you definitely weren't there for a moment. Just, just follow me. Follow me, and we'll all be okay. Look at this, though. Look, I get distracted by pretty games at the drop of a hat. It doesn't take much for me to get very sidetracked by ogling an environment. And tell you what, of all the environments I've ogled, this is a pretty bloody good one. But all those good feelings are about to leave me because I want to know. Okay, birds, how are you? I want to know what's going on down here. And where is Old Bay who kicked me in the chin? I got scared by the seagulls. Yep, I'm a brave boy. I get scared of the, uh, really anything these days. It's why the first boss is so terrifying to me. Oi! Oi! Leave him alone! I don't know what goo's still inside of me. You can't crack him open like a Cadbury egg. Go somewhere else. Find something else for dinner. I don't know if old mate's wearing a skull or if that's his skull, but there are some things definitely going on here. Can I... Can I, can I bonk? Can I take that and wear it as a mask myself? They'll never see me coming if I'm wearing the mask like I'm Batman instead of a skull, man. Ooh, some muscles. Heard that aphrodisiac, Kelvin. I hope you're excited about a little beach getaway. Can't take any more. All right, yep, my frame rate's dropping again. I've got to fix that. Got to fix that. But first, can I bonk? Can I bonk? Almost. Bonk. Bonk the pitch. Oh, extra bonk the pitch. Feathers scattered, brain scattered, birdie come with me. Kelby, I got some dinner. Those birds are just having a feast. Can I use those bodies to like call in dinner then? I mean, look, the pigeons are gonna keep going over and pecking about in various orifices and holes that are in old mate's face over there. I'm A-OK -okay to then clobber that and see what it's gonna give me. No, don't flip the bloody thing. There you go. What are you? No, you're just on the ground. That's fine. Couple of fish. Oh, bud, we're at a buffet. What are you even worried about? We can set up a camp, fix whatever's going on with you. Can I like, can I fix, like change your notes? Yeah, okay, that's how that works. Get sticks, build fire, stay here, take a break. You know what? You've had a rough morning. Take a break, go and look at the ocean, try to look at the massacre happening just down the end over there. I'm gonna tell old mate, can you go and get, yeah, that'll do, get some sticks and Follow me, give to me, uh, and give to me. Okay, nice. I like that I have a companion. I feel far less alone. Now I've got Calvin dawdling about and give me all the good stuff. Because I think it's probably a good shout to go and make myself. Oh, spiders! Ah! How do I kill? Squish, Calvin, squish the spids. Squish the spids. Can I, can, I, can I squish you? You're a big boy. You're like a big bloody red back. That's fine. I grew up on the death continent. I can handle you. You're like a fuzzy little friend that just hangs out in the corner. But I can't, I can't squish. I can't squish. I'm trying my best, but nope. Just like Australian spiders, they're invulnerable. Yeah, what I was saying. Oh, look at him go. Look at Kelvin go. What a machine. What a man. What a man. What a mighty good man. <gasps> Turtle. What I was saying is I should probably... Oh! commit some atrocities, but more importantly, build myself a, a base of some kind, build myself a house. I'm sorry, bud. I'm sorry, bud. I just, I need all your good meats. And I also need your mouth. Oh, God. All right. All right, Kelvin. Yeah, not nah, cool. Thanks for that one. He just came over and threw them all at me and then off to get some more. <laughs> I love it. I love everything that's happening here, except for the nightmares I'm currently committing. Well, that's the grossest thing I've ever seen. I've just plied off the shell off a turtle. Now I'm looking at all the insides. No, don't eat it just like that. I wanted to pick the thing up. All right, well, apparently turtles come with chicken wings inside them. Not sure why, but I'm not gonna ask too many questions. Need to rinse off the blood. <laughs> I don't think my hands will ever be clean. Is that is that clean to me? Yep, no, nah, just that little bit. All right, Kelvin, come and uh, come with me, please. Bring those sticks along. Let's go find somewhere to build ourselves a shelter. Just like on this peninsula, maybe, or is there somewhere better? Good to know I've brought a ruler with me. That's gonna come in handy for later. Oh, here we go. Emergency pack open. Click the gear to open the emergency pack. Okay, where's my where's my mouse? Or just that one? Ah, right. Still going through the tutorial. We're fine. Got myself a hatchet, a phone. 
But what's even the problem that you got yourself a phone? Oh, it's a GPS phone. I was going to say, just call it another Puff Chopper and get yourself out of here. Guidebook, tactical axe, equip you. Been beating turtles to death with stones for a little while. Let's upgrade our murder. Uh, let's go back to that. I do want to make myself a couple of spears. So, find myself some sticks. There you go. I want to combine you with that, I think it was. Combine. And like a stone, maybe? No, not one of those. Not one of those. I, have to, I need to know the recipes. Give me the recipes. So crafted spear. I need a knife. I've got that. Two sticks and duct tape. All right, here you go. There's the other stick. Is this going to use my knife, though? Is this going to waste my knife by making a spear? I really bloody hope not. No, it doesn't look like he's attaching it to it. That's fine. Still got my knife. Lovely. What are you? Light color. Can I make it? Can I make a purple spear? Oh my god! I have an. Uh, I'm a pro gamer. Pro gamer got an RGB survival kit. We can't leave home without it. As much as living on the beach down here. Come on, Kelvin. Come on. Come on. Come with me. I'll get some Scooby snacks or Kelvin snacks for you before too long. Don't worry. I'll feed you some turtle if I really have to. But speaking of, I'm really hurt. Can I? Can I chuck in some health or whatever? Here we go, some pills. Chuck them in. Nom, nom, nom. Don't know what meds they are. Just drink the entire bottle. I'm sure that will be fine. Got some raw meat. We're all good. I reckon... You see... That's not quite what I wanted, but you see that little bluff over there? I reckon that is the place I want to go. Living on the beach sounds great, but I'm not Tom Hanks and I don't have a volleyball. I'm a woodle and I got a Kelvin, so let's go find ourselves somewhere better to live. And having a bit of a view is always important. It's not survival unless you have a balcony. Just look at this, though. It's just, it's just so good. It's everything that I wanted it to be. It's lovely, it's lush, and it's gorgeous. I'm appreciating it now before I have most of my limbs torn off before too long. So yeah, kind of up there. I want to find, if possible, find some sort of bluff with a rel like a relatively decent choke point or just one access way to wherever I'm going to be living. Leaving the starting area might be a bold decision. And I oh my god, I thought that was a face hugger out of Alien. Oh, maybe there's things in this island I really don't want to find. I should have stayed at the starting zone. We want to find somewhere good. We we'll find somewhere good to put down some stakes. Kelvin, still with me? Yeah, look at you. Having a lovely frolic. I've made myself a few spears just in case. But what I want to see, is there a way to make repair tool, craft a club? I need a skull. There was a couple back on the beach, but apparently not. Can I make myself a bow? Yes, but I need like twine or something. So I'm gonna be plant fiber or whatnot. So I'll leave my last duct tape for that. That's fine. No, I don't want to roll around with just a stick. I've got that one instead. Equip you. Thank you. All right, uh, Kelvin, can I give you a spear? E, follow me, get, build, stay, take a break, clear, take item. What? What what item? Can I? I don't have I don't have anything to give you. Okay, I can't give him a spear. Sorry, Kelvin. I'll um figure that out another time. If you get in trouble, just run. Just run back into the ocean. Let the seagulls take him out. I'm gonna try and cut down a tree real quick. God, I loved it in the first game. It's just as good in this one. The like actual breaking apart of the trees as you're harvesting it. Not just like, oh, you hit it X amount of times and it falls over. You can actually see the tree come apart at the seams. Lovely. Bring you down. Only been here for five minutes and already ravaging the environment because I am a human. Can I take any of you? Just clearing out like a bloody lawnmower. Get the old whippersnipper going. I don't think I want to eat you straight off the plant. Just want to see what those blueberries are. Where's the... Oh, sorry, Kelvin. Where's the plant fiber though that I need? I need plant fiber. Leaves connected. Can I craft with you then? Um, it's getting kind of dark, so lights on. Just like all cheap RGB though, the purple is actually magenta. No one freaks like magenta. Magenta is the worst color. So even real. Uh, Prist oh, prints her resin. That's good. I can print up my CV and apply to the uh, apply to the cannibals. Where's the? There you go. Leaves. Combine you. Is that what you need? Leaf armor? No. I want to... I want to make a bow. Every survival game needs a stone axe and a bow and arrow. It's getting kind of dark and I'm not thrilled about it. And I haven't found anywhere to go and sit yet. There's a couple of logs through here. I'll leave them there for the moment. 
So just have a little bit of a squeeze just up here before it gets too dark. Kelly, you coming with me, bud? Kind of, not really. You're just you're getting distracted by the waves. That's all good. So I'm kind of hoping up here somewhere might be a better spot to be. Are you something fun? No, you're just leaves. All right, no whackers. I mean, some whackers are whacking you with an axe in all fairness. So like through here, maybe? Is there like a bluff on this side? I just want somewhere narrow to defend. If I can't find somewhere good, it's got to be back down on the peninsula down there. I had a good spot to start with. Turning it down might have been daft. I've made my way up the mountain to try and get a better view. And I can't see the forest for the forest. So I don't... Ooh, I don't think there's a better option around. This is all pretty accessible through here. There is a little bit of a cliff face up there, but not enough for me to get excited about. I might go... I might just uh, just hedge my bets and go and try and build myself something down on that beach down there. It was a good place to start with. I was to, ooh, getting a little bit greedy with it. I'll take some salmon berries with me as well. Hopefully they don't give me mela. <laughs> that was the worst thing I've ever made. Anyway, let's go get let's go get Calvin back. I left him on the beach staring at the waves. I probably shouldn't have. Calvin, Calvin, get back here. Calvin is nowhere to be seen. Have the cannibals already taken him? Did I leave my friend for half a minute and he's already been eaten alive like a turtle on the beach over there? Um. All right. Uh, I guess rest in peace, Calvin. All right. Oh, in that case, I'm back to being alone. I'm going to take these logs with me. Or did he just run off into the bush somewhere? Oh. That's either Calvin or it's something bad. It's all dressed in black, though, so please be Calvin. Please be Kelvin. I can't imagine. There's got the blue light of goodness. Can't imagine the cannibals are running around in their sweet black and then slightly darker black tactical neck. Kelvin, get over here and pick up some logs. I didn't want to build on that first side of Peninsula for two reasons. One, because it's where I started. And two, because if I... <laughs> my assumption with this is that the cannibals are going to come to where, like, the helicopter crash to come looking for me. So getting out of there probably isn't a bad idea. Um... Build gets logs and then follow me. There you go. Got myself a little help. Yeah, come on, Lydia. There's plenty of them. Take your pick. I can only take two. You take. Oh, look at ya. Don't take. Don't make this weird, Kelvin, but I like how big your log is. All right, come with me. Come with me. We're going all the way back. We're building ourselves a house together on the beach like a cute romantic couple. I mean, look, don't get the wrong idea. I did just compliment Calvin on the size of his log, then immediately ask him to move in with me. I know we don't move this fast, I promise. It's just, it's just the sea breeze getting to me. I've got the seasickness. I don't know where Calvin's gone again, but I assume he's back there somewhere. But before it gets to... Hang on a second. You. You. It's... Okay. Q and R. Is this like to start building stuff? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Well, I'm going to assume that it is. Q and R. Let's go like that one. Oh my god. This is... That's so cool. That's so cool, but it's also now so dark. I'm going to quickly go and cut down a tree before it gets even darker again. Kelvin is gone. I asked you to follow me with your big stick, Kelvin. You've disappeared. Arlene's come out of the shrubs so and stolen away from me in true Arlene fashion. I pulled out my lighter to try and see. It is not a regular lighter. It's a sweet, like, little laser lighter. And close enough to being purple. All right, I'm guided by the purple light. That works for me. Just got to quickly cut down another tree as the sun is setting. Where's my friend? I asked him to follow me and he immediately ditched me. We've got to sit together here, Kelvin. You can't just wander off and leave me to the turtles. I murdered one already. They're going to have a vendetta. It is darker than a sausage that's been left on the barbecue way too long out here right now. Uh, you can go there and then there. Nice. Good. That was a lot. Kelvin, you've come back out of the darkness. Come on. Come this way, please. I can't see anything. Uh, I need to make myself a campfire is what I need. Yep, get my lighter going. Improvise survival structures. Hamper probably should read this, but it was still daylight, but whatever. Never too late to figure out your shit. I can build a tent with the tarp that I have, but I want to build myself a fire. Sticks. <laughs> stick plus lighter equals fire. Snap stick. Use lighter equals... Okay. Equals fire. Gotcha. Switch to, switch to build mode. Okay. 
So it's not the same as it used to be where you can just... Oh, these are like bigger things. These are cool things. Where you like, you chuck down like the, the blueprint of the fire and then start building it. Nah, it's just figure it out, Jeffrey, and see how you go. All right. Well, I'd love to if I could see anything. Uh, you. Stick. How do I... How do I break stick? How do I... How do I break stick? I'm not sure. Oh, here we go. Look at the ground. Snap. Stick. Snap. Stick. Lights. Oh, we're looking good now. Oh, ha, ha. we're looking good now. Look at you. Bud, you see what I've done? I have created fire. Look at me. Oh, look at him. I'm a provider. I've given warmth and not really shelter to my little friend. Uh, you can go like that. <laughs> I haven't quite rebuilt civilization, if I'm being honest. I, it's not quite at the level where I feel like I've actually contributed, but at least it's something. Can I build something a bit more impressive? Small animal trap, uh, tree platform, stick bed, small log cabin. It's 75 logs. I would like to have a cheeky cabin for old mate Kelvin to get snuggly in, but I don't think that's really an option for me right now. So in that case then, let's go back to the other mode. I need to have a look seam at my tent. Stick plus tarp. Tarp on ground, stick under corner. All right, that seems relatively easy enough. Considering I can build all of this. You're looking very relaxed, bud. You'll warn me if something comes out of the darkness, yeah? Because I can't see a sausage out there. If that is looking at me, I'm sure they are. Oh, I can't see him. Here we go, chuck a stick on this side. Get you up and under. Lovely. And this side as well, please. It's, it, listen, it's not quite a, a, a five-star hotel, but it might keep the rain off us at the very least. I will quickly save them. Brand new save. Whack you in and have a little sleep. Come on. Come get snuggly. Keep ourselves warm. Warm, even. It's a brand new day. Get a Pidge. Get a Kelvin. Are you right to go again? Nah, you, st you still haven't blinked in about 36 hours. All right, you, you, you're looking into my soul and I don't like it. All right, Kelvin, here's the plan, buddy boy. There's a couple of logs over there that I need you to get and bring to me. Get logs and drop here. Make sense? Look good? Yep, no, nah, sounds great. All right, you do that. I will go and have a cheeky little scout. So like, I mean, look, my little five log wall and my silver tent isn't really all that great. In fairness, I built the wall mostly to try and hide the campfire on the other side. If that's actually a thing or not, I don't know, but I did it anyway. But now that it's daytime, we can go have a little look-see around again. I want to get... Ooh, can I, can I take the face huggers actually? I want to get my, um, my bow and arrow going. And what I really should do is get some water and bloody uh, food going because I'm thirsty and hungry and not really taking good care of myself. So how do I put, how do I put raw meats? Oh, I've got a, I've got a bottle of vodka. That's probably not what you want to be putting in your face holes right now, but all right, sure, if things get real dire, at least we can have a party with the cannibals. Well, it's like a BYO and I'm bringing my own liquor to serve up next to my thighs. Speaking of thighs, how do I put you onto, onto fire? Like this. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, got myself a little cooking. Got some herbs as well. All right, you use that. On you go, and on you go. Get your sizzle away. One for me, one for my friend. Cheetah clothes. Bud, you want some snacks? Yeah, look at him. Look at him. He heard the sizzle and he's coming over. He's ready for a feast. <laughs> what a legend. There we go. That one's ready. I will take you, and I will take you. Do I have to feed you? Can I... Uh, maybe it's this way, actually. Press hold aim. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Stand, stand still, dickhead. No, don't walk in front of the... I'm trying to feed you, you great larrikin. Here, this one. Uh, I want to give... Item. It wasn't there at one point. Take item. That one. Okay, you. Take item. Would you like a snack? Listen, I'm trying to feed you. I'm not going to have you die like all my Tamagotchis did, but apparently you don't want it. Ooh, you know what I want? I want that bluff up there. That looks like a great place to go live in. Nah, all right. Never mind then. Never mind then. Old mate doesn't have to eat. Is all good. So I'll eat his portion instead. I tried. I tried. If he starves to death, I'll feed him to the cannibals first and get away. 
I guess All Mates decided that doing anything is too much like hard work and just decided to, yeah, nah, so I'll go get the logs instead. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're off your breakdown. Oh, I've started doing it. Yeah, nah, you're fine. I'm tired. I just had a nap, though. What do you mean you're tired? I'm also thirsty. Do I have to just... All right, look, we're going to have a big night out and try and sleep it off. Consume? Oh, no, it's an ingredient. Okay, I need to figure out some fluids. I do have that turtle shell somewhere, don't I? Yeah, there it is, all the way up in the corner. You. Equip. Can I build you somewhere, please? I just need somewhere to... Just to catch some rainwater. <laughs> just having a wonderful time. Just on holiday. We're not even fighting for survival. No, we're just having a little kid. Don't walk on my tent, you bastard. I need that. I have absolutely no idea what I'm supposed to do about water. I've got the turtle shell, and in the first one, you just chuck the turtle shell up on some sticks and collect rainwater. Although, in fairness to me, it hasn't been raining much either. Can't carry any more rocks. All right, that's fine. Do I have to drink seawater? I really don't want to. Mm, all right, I have to go find. I have to go find a freshwater spring or something. GPS, are you going to help me? Listen, but look, we're about as parched as a cotton mouth could possibly be. I need you to sort it out. Listen, the river just up the hill. All right, I think that's my best bet for now. Can I take one of these buckets and go fill it up at the stream? Because that would be good. Oh. Uh, no. Just... Just no! I'm, I'm trying to figure out how not to die on the beach. Got you a cave? Absolutely not! I'm hoping that stream should be just in front of me. Trapes and about out in the wild. Not really my strong suit, but in fairness, landing under the beach was my strong suit either, so I don't even have any suits. I'm completely naked and afraid out here. Nice little path, though. I'll stick to that. Seems like a pretty good shout. Making less noise. Oh! Uh. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Oh, there's no chance I'm hitting that. No chance I'm hitting that. That's either the wind or running water. <gasps> there's a stream. There's a stream. That's what I wanted. That's the whole reason I came here. Please don't poison me, though. Please don't poison me. It'd be just my luck that I came all this way. Can I drink? Put your bloody... Put your stick away. There you go. There you go. Drink out of that. Maybe I need to build my base near running water. That's like Survival 101, although clearly my Survival 101 is have Doritos nearby. I don't think that's going to help me this time. Oh my god, do you see what I see? There's something on the beach. There's something on the beach. Um, right. What's going to be better? You are fast, and I assume like the spiky little circle there is like attack speed. I reckon the tactical axe. The tactical axe is the way to go because I can block with it at the very least. Um, hello? Look, my, my chopper crashed. Turns out the puff wasn't puffy enough and we absolutely binned it. Hi. Oh my God, it's a tripod. All right. Uh, well, I, my dreams of being the biggest tripod of the island have been dashed immediately. Hi. Are you like a ballerina? A three-footed ballerina. All right. Yep. A graceful as anything. I don't know what to do about this. I don't, know, I don't know what to do about this. Do I kill or do I run? But she's distracting me with dance. Oh. Okay, bye. I thought I made a friend. You know what? I can't have you telling... I can't have you telling the even bigger tripods around where I am. I may be tired, but I'm also aggressive. Come here. Come here. Hold on. Hold on. Just let me quickly whip out this bad boy. Equip. Uh, ah. Oh, not even close. I'll right, try again. Pick up that one. Oh, look. I understand you have three legs, so you're probably super bloody fast, but here we go. Here we go. Did I hit you? I don't even know what happened then. You did a U-bang, and I still whiffed it. All right. This seems like a problem. I feel like she's going to go away and tell all the other people where I am. There's no chance. No chance I was catching up to her. All right, I need to leave. I need to leave then. <laughs> first encounters of the Triceratops kind. The first person I found has already emasculated me. Just the way... Th Ooh. Just the way things are. Gross. Can I... 
I don't think I want to take these things, but I'm breaking your effigies. That's only going to make them more mad. Oh, wow. I drank out of this stream a second ago. And <laughs> Have these guys got crushed by the... Can I take your skulls or something? Do you guys get crushed by the rock or did you just end up here? I'm not sure, but I will take your cloth and I'll take your rope. <gasps> rope. Does that mean I can now make you? No, oh, you bloody galam. Don't equip it. I want to go you and you and then that one. And craft a bow. It was rope. Okay, where's the rope? There's the rope. Chuck you. Combine that. I like the new craft animations. That's absolutely not how that rope works, but sure. I'll equip you. Now I just need some arrows. We're probably going to take another stick. Chuck you on. Torch, stone, arrow. Feathers, stones, and sticks. Sticks, stones, and then feathers are down here. Are you close? Are you close to any what you need? Need four stones? I can't put any more in? Why not? Ah, there we go. What am I missing? What am I... What am I... Wait, what? What am I missing? Why? Oh, it's the small ones. Okay, gotcha. Remove you and put the little ones in. Two, three, four. There we go. Make myself some... All right. Just <laughs> that seems to have worked. Take all of you. Lovely, lovely. All right, we're ready to rock and roll. The ballerina comes back. I'll shoot her in one of her knees. I definitely feel like it was a mistake letting her escape. Uh, if she was a scout or something, she razzle-dazzled me with all of her wonderful dance moves and I just sat there and ogled her and then she ran away and now someone's going to come see me. So I need to get back to my friend. At least the stream's not too far away at the very least. That's good news, but it is right next to a cave entrance, which doesn't make me feel good. Uh, do I have the means to make some extra arrows now? What? No. Oh, stop. <laughs> I keep left-clicking, right-click. One, two, three, four. Two of you, and then some featheroonies, like that. What are you missing? What are you... What do you mean? Oh, I'm missing another stick. That one. There you go. Craft up some more arrows. Nice. All right. We're looking okay, I think. We're probably not, but I feel all right about it. There's another sea turtle, and Captain Jack Sparrow's not right on the back of it. Sorry, turts. I did... I, I don't want to do it like this, but I have no choice. It's you or me, and I'm kind of partial to me. My emo days are over. It's not 2005 anymore. There you go. Skin you up. I'll take your shell. I'll take your meat. It's weird that you're just watching me do this, but okay, whatever. Take that and that and ugh, leave all the guts behind. I feel like that's exceptionally wasteful. There's got to be more of this turtle I can use. I'll just leave it here to fester in the sun. If you're going to kill it, use it. I don't know. I don't know if, like, the cannibals and stuff can swim, but I'm pretty tempted to turn this little peninsula into basically Boston. The old Boston Peninsula with a nice little choke point just down here. If I could build, like, a wall along here, at least then I can kind of keep them at bay and then a good amount of area behind the wall to do a bit of fighting and scamper about. That's probably not a particularly terrible idea. Uh, can I build anything fun? Switch mode. Let's go to the other kind, please. So, how do I build stuff? How do win game? That's more of what I'm asking. I can make a floor. Logs plus hatchet. Chuck it on the ground. Ooh, okay. That's how I make a, a wall. But how do I make, like, a, like a, like a barrier wall? Not the wall of a house. There's a lot of things to make in there, and none of them are what I need. Is there a way to put things to my hotbar? I know there used to be, or do I have to make myself like a holster or something first? I don't super duper remember. Equip. I know I'm tired. That's fine. I'm trying to build ourselves a life together, and you're just lounging about. You, go and get myself some more. Uh, get logs and fill holder. There we go. I built myself a log holder because I am organized and responsible. Yep, no, nah, sound good. Do I have to go cut down some more trees for you? Because I will if I need to. That one. All right, let's go get that sorted out then. I just need to have some sort of shelter quickly. I've cut down most of the trees just at the end of my little peninsula over here. Oh, my sort of wonderful job running back and forth, grabbing all the logs. Lovely, lovely. Okay, so far, relatively so good, I think. Having a company, having a friend in the forest is such a big difference. I don't normally have any friends. This is a welcome change of pace. You, can I whack you up on top there, please? I'm tired. Use a tarp or build a shelter. I'm trying, but at the moment, my uh, building... 
My building progress is lacking somewhat. I'll right, we'll just leave them there for a second. And take you back. Is it just because you're a little shonky? Go like that. And then I want to go up. I want to go up, please. No, I'm not building myself a balcony. That comes later. There you go. Up. Up you go. Up you go. Lovely dovely. Oi, go get more logs. It's not nap time yet. Oh, I like this so much better. So you cut out the things you want to make windows and stuff. Like you. Oh, that's so much better. I love it. And you get the logs back. How could you not love it? How could you not love it? Um, I don't really know what to do with you just now. So just like go on the ground just there. I'll come back for you in a tick. That's so good. That's so, it's little things like that, man. This makes it so much cooler for me. Can I whack you on top? Somewhere here, please. Somewhere anywhere here, please. Old oh, mate, there's plenty of logs over there. Go and get it. I can now see through my little window anything that might be coming for me. That's all good. Uh, old mate's having a nap and not getting more logs. So I guess it's just up to me now. There was a second one of these somewhere, wasn't there? Or was all my kicked into the ocean? All right. Thanks for that, mate. Didn't need it anyway. Yeah, nah, cool, whatever. Ooh, that was kind of fun. Why don't we do this? Little pillar. Mm, no. Give me that back. I don't know what I'm going to do with you right now, but I'll figure it out later. You go then. Some of us still have some hard yakka to do. We're going to have a hard-earned thirst. And you're just going to stare at me. So how do you reckon I build a roof on this bad boy? I'm not super sure. Uh, go like that, please. Just stay them. Do I have anything to chuck on the fire? Just some herbs. There you go. Call me the colonel because I'm sizzling up some herbs and spices. All right, so tell me in the book. Surely it tells me in the book. Uh, window, door. I assume it's like a window, but bigger. Ah, oh, get your big stick out of my face, Calvin. I'm trying to read. I've got a headache. Not right now. Thank you for picking up the log I just put in and put it in the holder. Go and get the other ones. Utter larrikin, I tell you. Window, single step, basic beams. Single step goes in. Ooh, okay. Okay. Roof. That's roof. How do I make roof? That's just a flat roof. I want a peaky roof. I want to live in style. I don't super understand what it's actually asking me to do here. It just like doesn't seem to work. I like I can grab, I can grab the beam and grab you. If I do, please get out of the way. I need you to go. But like, how do I attach onto you? It just doesn't just doesn't want to do it for me. Just like yeah, nah. Uh, cool. Okay, just like okay. So I right click, maybe place it like. Hang on a second. If I place you up here, I right click to change your rotation. Now it doesn't do it. Doesn't do it. I don't know. Maybe I can't build Peaky Roos by myself then. Maybe I have to do it its own way. Mmm. Don't know. I, I, I do not know. I didn't again. You go like that. Yeah, nah, sure. Like that, maybe. And then can I, like, can I push you over? Sure. No, nope, now I have some more half logs again. That's not what I wanted to do either. Mm, I don't know what you want from me. Oh, good. All right, well, I chucked in that the other way around, not the way that I wanted it to be. Little arrows like that up to the half beams. Gotcha. In that case, okay, give me you. I changed my mind. Give me that one instead. Do you want to... Yep, you're going to pick that up for me? Thank you for doing absolutely nothing. Up here. I'll put you somewhere here, maybe. No, still not. Just, nah, doesn't want to do it. Damn it. It's getting dark, and I've tried to assemble all the logs into some sort of pile, hoping all my Calvin would come over and pick a couple up, but apparently not. I'm going to put you like that. I'm going to build out a little bit more. I'm going to put, like, the door into this place on this rung here. I can't build a peaky roof, but that's okay. All mate's taking a load off. Don't mind me, mate. You have a nice little rest, a little kid. I'll keep on trying to live. Oh, here we go. So if I just, like, throw all the logs in this general direction, apparently, eventually, it might come and help me out a little bit. That's dark as out here now. There you go, Kelvin. There's some more. <laughs> How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck's name was Josh? I see. Split the logs. Like that. Take the planks. Thank you. And that should mean that eventually I can build myself a door, I hope. Put them back down. Can I split you again? Nah, I can't. I can't go lengthways again. Okay, that's fine. I'll split this one. Yep. I wanted to just make myself a door. I've got myself a door frame over here that you can really see. There's a door frame there. I want to chuck in the door. Oh, I can go lengthways. It's kind of on the fire, but we're all good. 
Do you do you count as a as a like a stick then? I don't know. I'm just splitting wood and not really achieving much with it. Just keep going. Just keep going. Eventually. Ah, damn it! No! No! Oh, I'm gonna burn down my house because I'm on fire. Where's the water? Where's the water? Seagulls, please help me. Put me out. Yeah, yeah. Get in the ocean. Get in the ocean. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're good. Oh, god damn it. I'm the worst at surviving. Look, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, I'm tired. It's the middle of the night. It's been a big day. I think it's time that me and Kelvin just had a little nap and we're done with our first day. Well, actually, first two days of survival. Things got wild. There was a tripod cruising around. They all know where I am now, which is not a good time. But more importantly, I am still alive. So I'm gonna have to leave this episode here and come back and I reckon we're going to go into that cave. I'm going to try and be brave for once in my life, go into the deep, dark, and scaries and see what's waiting for me. And fingers crossed, come out the other side. We'll have to go into that cave in another episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the Patreon, the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked like to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.